loading bales. We got them all. We got it all rigged. Got the guy here bailing. He's sitting here home hauling bales. And this one, he's hauling uh, 16 at a time. And we are using the truck in the 24 foot wagon. We're hauling 14. Me and Abigail, or Abigail and I. And uh, Jaren's doing all the loading. We're moving around the field. And then Keith and I are just unloading our own bales at the, at the farm. And we're wrapping them all, so we'll get some footage on that. So the plan will be, once uh, you get me full, I'm going to follow you down to Calso's. That way you can get started with Keith on his next load. Okay? So he's putting those four on, and he's got four of them lined up over here. He'll get them on. And then we'll only have, actually it's going to be about perfect. Looks like it is going to be perfect. We'll have them all on this load. Here's my co-pilot. Right, Abigail? You just helping me? Yeah. Tell me which way to go and everything. No. No? She's a good help. She's a good co-pilot. Right? She's doing her crafty stuff here in the back seat while we're loading. Right? Yep. Last load in this field. Then we're going to go to uh, where we were raking before. This field can be a little bit wet, so hopefully we can get these bales out of here. We've gotten stuck a few times in here. Down here, I'll be more than that. There will be more than that when they get done bailing. Yeah, we already got 100 at home from the first field almost. I think we'll go this. I think we'll come out of the field this way. of an inch of rain so there was actually some really green spots on the bottom underneath the windrows so I'm glad we're wrapping them it'll be really nice cafe now see we're wrapping them and when you wrap them then you don't have to put them inside and if you don't put them inside you're gonna have a lot of spoilage even if you put them inside you got Seems like you got enough spoilage on one side. So when you wrap them, there's no spoilage if there's no holes in the plastic. If they're wrapped right. So it's good storage for dry hay. It's pretty dry. And then we can wrap them and we can put them right at the farm too. Where when we can put them in the shed, we gotta put them on. Uh, place which is two miles away or down to Dukes which is four miles away then you gotta always haul them back so this is just so much nicer haul them once and done one and, one and done haul them once Drive 
down to that corner? Okay. Go down here and get topped off. Put four in the top. Almost. He's got to put her four top bales on, then we're gone. Uh, no, I didn't. We got a little squeak in the running gear. One more? One more? No, he's not. He said it'd be about 45 minutes. So I'll drive down to the corner, put one more on, huh? Okay, so there we got our 14 bales. We'll head out, come back for another one. We're catching the baler, Jan. I caught him more before, I think. You did? Yeah. Okay. He's falling behind. One more round will be caught up. He's about done here. Those bale spears work pretty nice to pick two at a time up. We only put two spears on, that way the middle spear doesn't mess the bale up. We hire somebody to ground bale for us. This is Bryce coming, this New Holland. Actually, it's 8.20 in the evening, and there's a big storm to the north. You can see over there in the distance that it's blowing dust everywhere. It's getting really windy out here. So, I don't know. We really do need to rain, but um, it'd be nice to get these bales off this field first. It's a really low field. It'd be hard to get them off after it rains. The wind is picked up immensely. Is that the right word? I don't know. The wind's picked up a lot. Funny colors in the sky up there. Jaren? Hello? Yes. What's that? Yes, we have to. We got to get them out of there. If it rains in there, we are not going to get them. So, yeah, start getting them. Start getting them all up to this end of the field. Up towards the driveway. Okay. Bye. But it's starting to lightning off in the distance. Not too far distance. I'm going to check the radar and see how far off it is. I don't 
think we're going to get it. I think it's going to go to the east now because it's going south. So here we are, we're unloading a load of bales. And the uh, wrapper guy, he's wrapping. It's hard to do this with one hand. These are them letter bales off that part that was so heavy. He's got one row done there, two rows done. Just starting another row. Line wrapping them. These are all the bales we got to wrap. Probably 150 yet. I think we ended up with 200, and almost 250 bales. One more load yet. He's getting one and we got one. Actually we broke the back of the trailer off on the last load that holds the bales on. So we lost three bales. So I don't know. Actually I don't think we're gonna get them all on this next load. So we'll have to go back and get a few. Starting another row, getting ready down there. Machines up here, we gotta go. We're gonna go get in there a load of bales. Should have filmed that um, more right before it got dark on that rapid. Now it's hard to see it. Jared, he runs the skid steer at ISO. Everybody else runs it on H, but he's younger and more tech savvy, so he runs it on ISO. 